All right, so time to learn how to draw uh, 3D cylinders. So I have this cute little step sheet to help you out today because as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps is a lot of things to remember just inside your head. So when you go to your table, you're gonna grab a sheet of paper and a step sheet so that you don't have to keep all these steps inside your head. You have something to look at that, to help out and remind you. All right, now, as you saw on my example sketch, or if you haven't seen it yet, you will see it, I did a lot of cake drawings on one piece of paper, and I want you guys to do that too so that you come up with more than one idea. However, in my example today, I'm gonna show you nice and big so you can see it, okay? So yours are gonna have more than one cake on here, and they're gonna be a little bit smaller. Now, um, if I look at my first step, I draw a pretty fancy shape called an ellipse. It sounds like I'm just saying lips, but really it's called an ellipse. And that is um, kind of a squashed circle. And when you see a cylinder from the side, you will use an ellipse to draw the top. So I'm gonna draw that first. And it doesn't matter if my squashed circle is super fat or if it's super skinny, okay? There's really no wrong or right way to do it. Done. Now I'm gonna draw two straight lines that come down from the edge of my ellipse. Next, I'm gonna draw a curved line here at the bottom. It's really important to make it curved. If you just draw it straight across, it's not gonna look 3D. And that's what we're learning to do is to draw things 3D to create the illusion of three dimensions. So make sure to curve that line as you connect them. So I'm gonna curve it out. Nice. All right, next I put a dot. This dot is gonna help me create the cake slice. And I like my dot to be about in the middle because when you slice a cake, usually you slice to the middle. And I'm gonna put two lines. These two lines will become my slice and they're gonna be over to the side, not in the middle. They can be over on this side or on this side, doesn't matter, but make sure they're to the side. Now I'm gonna take these two lines and I'm gonna connect the lines to the dot. So you can start to see it starting to look like a slice. All right, and then step seven is a two-parter. So we're gonna draw the line here for the bottom of my cake slice and we're gonna erase some lines. This line here that I'm drawing needs to be parallel to the top line. So do you see how if I took these two lines, they could go on and on and on and on and on, on forever and they would never touch because those two lines are parallel. Ooh, we're doing math. Math and art, awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna erase these lines here because it doesn't make sense the cake slice is gone. I need to erase these lines, we don't see those. And then I'm gonna add another ellipse to make my cake plate. Yay! It looks like a cake, but it looks like a pretty boring cake. So my next step is where we get to have a lot of fun. And that is where you can look at here for ideas, or you can come up with other ideas that aren't on here. You get to add your decoration to your cake. So I want you to draw, try and draw at least three cakes today so that each cake you draw, you're forcing your brain to come up with different ideas. And that's how we get to be creative people is we take our brain and we say, uh-uh, you're not done yet. Keep thinking, we can come up with some more stuff, okay? So make sure to be creative thinkers come up with lots of designs to add and lots of different types of cakes. Have fun guys.